Welcome to another two-minute tutorial session. Today I thought I'd discuss some techniques on how to bring out stars in so-called star freeze images. Uh, this shot was taken um, last night actually at um, in near darkness at a focal length of 17 millimeters uh, for a duration of 25 seconds. The important thing about actually capturing the image is that your stars need to be bright enough um, so that uh, any post-processing techniques that you use don't accentuate faults in the image like high ISO noise that's introduced. So fortunately with the use of the 5D Mark III going up to ISO 3200 doesn't tend to introduce uh, too much noise. In order to keep the stars frozen still uh, you, you need to have an exposure of no longer than approximately 500 on the focal length. So this picture was taken at 17 millimeters which means that I would have a leeway of up to nearly 30 seconds, hence the exposure of uh, 25 seconds. Now in terms of bringing out the stars, the simplest way to do this in Lightroom is simply to use the clarity function. So you can see the difference between 100 clarity, where everything seems just much more accentuated, and zero clarity, where things are completely blurred. So all the way up to 100. The problem with Lightroom is that it doesn't take advantage of masks, so that clarity gets applied to the entire image. So that for this reason, I do tend to use Photoshop techniques more than uh, Lightroom. So we're in Photoshop now of the same image that I was showing you in Lightroom earlier. Uh, now this is the actual edited image, which I then edit further for uh, various output purposes. So if you just follow the next few steps very crudely, um, this is the basis for what you can do to bring out stars. So first select and pick a color range that's white, so which is what all your stars should be. Y you notice that uh, you'll end up selecting lots of the tree, which you'll have to manually mask out. Um, but I'm just going to make it maximum so you can see the effect more clearly. So once that's selected, create a new levels layer and you know blown out stars are blown out stars so uh, make them even brighter and uh, what you can do now is use filter other and use the maximum function which expands the radius of um, what you've already got selected okay and that's a preview of it there now if you made the radius very big it ends up being very blocky and you end up getting squares on your image which is something you don't want so I usually don't make the radius any more than about three pixels or so okay all right and so if you zoom back out you can see that the stars are a lot brighter with a layer on but so is the tree so if I was then going to edit this further uh, I would have to mask out particularly uh, the bright parts of the tree so that it doesn't stand out and that is probably one of the easiest way to do it thank you very much for listening until next time